So with you earning that street cred across Night City, you will come to unlock certain cars that you can simply head to, unlock, purchase and own. Today I bring you 5 amazing vehicles you need to get. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. So who doesn't love amazing vehicles? Well today I bring you 5 I feel I must get. Now these vehicles you will need to earn certain amounts of street cred for, but eventually everyone on this list will become available to you, so let's get into it guys. So in at number 5, and first up, we have an extremely unique looking car which fits the future perfectly. It's called the Delegator Herrera Outlaw GTS. And man, I love the look of this thing. Now this car you will need to be a street cred level of 30 and your presence needs to be known in the area of Corpo Plaza. Once this target has been hit, this car is there for you to go and get as you will be messaged by a fixer stating it's available like every car on this list once those targets are met. And the location of this you can see on the screen now. Now the car will cost you 62k eddies, so make sure you have enough cash spare. The car won't ever go away, so there's no rush for you to go and get it. And again, this goes for every car on this list. Now this car has 755 horsepower, an all-wheel drive system, and weighs on the chunky side of just under 4,000 pounds. Okay, so next up on the list people, we have another very unique looking car and to be honest from the moment I saw these flying around Night City and I mean flying as in going fast around Night City even though they ain't that quick, they just look cool, I knew I had to add one to my collection. Now there are a few different variants to this one but the one sold by the fix requires you to be a street cred level of 20 and your presence known in Haywood. If this is the case, you can head to the location on the screen now. The car will cost you 62k eddies while you are here. The car is very unique but there is another way in getting one that's even better. And it's for beating Glen in a Bee on the Brat challenge which you can see on the screen now. This version of the car is solid gold and looks incredible. Full guide on this car though can be found on my channel if you do want to check that out. This car by the way is a real wheel drive, 407 bhp and weighs on the better side of 5000 pounds. But that doesn't matter people, this thing's a cruiser, you don't have to go fast and if you do like the look of it, you can see where it is on screen now. Okay, so I'm moving on and next up people, I bring you a car I believe is based on a Ferrari. Shame this one dog doesn't come in red, cause that would be cool. The car is called the Quadra Turbo R740, and well just look at this thing. Now this thing is not the fastest car in the game, but it is quick enough to warrant using it as a daily for sure. Now this one unlocks when you hit a street cred level of 30 and your presence is known in Charter Hill. Upon achieving this status, the car will become available via the point on the map you can see right now and it will cost you 129k eddies, but in my opinion it's worth adding to that collection. The car has real world drive, 480 bhp and weighs in at just over 3000 pounds. Okay so next up guys, and this is the car I've made a video on already, just for the fact I do believe it's one of the best all round cars in the game, and I don't think many people know about it. The car is called the Mizutani Shion Coyote, and it's basically a real legal rally car. That is super fast, basically touches 200 miles an hour, is the best handling car I've ever used in the game, and it's as good on dirt as it is on the tarmac. Now this car becomes available for you to purchase upon reaching a street cred level of 20 and your presence is known in the Badlands. When this is achieved, it will be located as you can see on the screen now. This one will cost you 115k eddies, but in my opinion, it's the best money you will spend for a while. This car is a must get. Now it's all wheel drive, has 570 bhp and weighs in at 3350 pounds. Like I said guys, this is a must get, go and get this thing, you will not regret it. Okay. 
Okay, so lastly guys, we have a spectacular looking car, arguably the best in the game. And nothing in my opinion fits the posher side of Night City's image more so than this. Easily in my opinion the most futuristic car in the game too. Now I will state, before this becomes available, you need to have a street cred level of 50, so top level there. Once that's achieved guys and your presence is known in North Oak, you can head to the location on screen now and get this car. Be warned though, this super fast amazing looking car will cost you 225k eddies, but a game worth every penny as it's basically the last car you unlock fixer wise due to its level. So this amazing car is real wheel drive, has 950 bhp and weighs in at 4050 pounds. The car is called the Rayfield Erendite Guinevere, I believe that's pronounced. And well there we have it people, 5 amazing cars you need to get. And well until another 5 amazing cars pop up on my radar, enjoy these. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.